This is Diane Baker. Heidi Kuhn, founder director of Roots of Peace, and I are flying from Dubai into Kabul, Afghanistan, in February 2009. Our first stop was the Roots of Peace headquarters, or compound as we called it, in the center of Kabul. began in September of 1997 when it was brought to my attention that there is a world today where there's 70 million landmines silently poised in 70 countries. In 2005, you really saw the effects, the, the raw effects of war and post 9-11 and the bullet holes everywhere, just a, a city that was just collapsed and the hopelessness among the people. That, that you hear war here, Everything was de destroyed. Even we didn't have any paved road here. And wickedly, these, these vineyards, these symbols of life and vitality, were riddled with landmines. 80% of the entire country is dependent upon agriculture. There is a solution, an economic solution. And we've proven a model that uh, not only has removed 100,000 landmines and UXOs, but we have trained over 100,000 Afghan farmers. And there was doubt among the farmers when we initially came in. Farmers in the villages, generally the village people, they don't trust anyone. Well, I think they thought we were American terrorists because here are these beautiful rootstocks and we were, we were pruning the vines and cutting them down to the basics. And, and these, were, these were farmers, these were elders. Because the hard life that they have, they don't trust no one. You need to earn the trust. And slowly, but, but surely, and field by field, they would bring their other elders in because they saw over time that these rootstocks started to grow. Uh, 40 hectares of the land was uh, trellised and uh, we had some uh, a lot of activity on the grape production. And as we've applied the trellising, grapevine techniques, they saw these cascades of these beautiful grapevines starting to emerge, and there were better techniques. We had uh, some uh, uh, technical uh, advices for them. We trained the farm. They trust in the program and they trust in us. And so they were able to not only have the consumption, the dignity and ability to feed themselves and celebrate a harvest of hope. All of the farmers, they are very happy and uh, they think that the uh, Root of Peace did a lot of things in the grape production. But Roots of Peace then provided export markets to India, Pakistan, Delhi, Dubai, and established the first trade route from Kabul to Moscow. Now, if that isn't peace in a country where the former Soviet Union invaded this country, and to come with fresh grapes and trade, peace and security through trade, I believe in my heart is the way forward. We're now on our way over to the uh, Minister of Economics for non-government agencies. The Road of Peace, the selection of projects, this is very nice. Oh, this is very beneficial or successful. Some plant in Afghanistan, they, um, uh, they don't have more um, product, mm -hmm. a small product. And that's the importance yeah. that farmers yeah. see that they can double their income to poppies yeah. Yeah. with alternative agricultural livelihoods. Mm -hmm. By cultivating these trees and four years mm -hmm. later, they will be bearing fruit. Mm -hmm. And in our minds, these are the roots yeah. of peace. Yeah. This is um, very useful. Um, I, appreciated your activities and we hope that we uh, that you on um, we gather to continue this activities on that we um, cover more um, <laughs> villages on also more another provinces yeah. yeah and this is our strategy our policy to work with you together inshallah inshallah, inshallah. <laughs> 
In 2006, I came back to Afghanistan and another harvest of hope. It was October of 2006 and we saw these same farmers. We went up to the Shamali Plains and we saw these little grapevines that had grown. They doubled in size and they were providing export markets and they were doubling the incomes of the farmers and to see in their eyes the sense of appreciation inviting us into their homes for tea. Um, it was just, it was overwhelming with kindness and compassion and the ability to empower these wonderful people and farmers in Afghanistan to build peace from the bottom up.